G'day guys, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing, I'm gonna be showing something pretty amazing, something that I never, I never thought this was gonna happen. However, today, I'm happy to announce we now have a direct Bluetooth connection from the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro to your computer. A direct Bluetooth connection. No longer do we have to use iPads or phones or anything as a bridge. Now we have a direct connect Bluetooth connection working. It's not perfect. I will say even the developer says there are some bugs in this process. It's not perfect. However, it's the first step. And I do think this will get to a point where it's extremely stable and something that we can actually use. And it's gonna make this process a lot easier and more streamlined. Just like with the R10, we were having to use mobile devices to port the information, bridge the information across to GS Pro. Now, we're gonna have a direct Bluetooth connection. This is super exciting. I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up or how I'm gonna set this up. So we'll go through everything today. I haven't downloaded anything. This will be the first time that I actually go through it and I'm gonna take you guys along the journey. So hopefully if there are any hiccups, you guys will experience them, you guys will see them and then you'll be able to correct them yourselves. Like I said, this is the first connector like this. There are other connectors gonna come down the line. I know Springbox working on his own, so stay tuned for that. I'll definitely have a video over that. And this is something that's gonna rapidly improve over the next few months. This connector does have issues. It has stability issues, so it's not perfect. So don't download this thinking that you're gonna have a streamlined perfect experience. I can imagine there's gonna be updates, you know, we're talking weekly, daily updates to this connector over the next few months. So potentially, if your connector's working good now, the one with Springbok, just stick with it. Just stick with it for a few months until this is completely ironed out and stable and then make the switch over. Okay, so I've navigated over to the actual page. Um, this connector's made by Dwayne. He did reach out to me on Discord. Um, I really appreciate that, mate. Thank you for doing that. As always, you can support the developer. If you're gonna use this, support the developer. I mean, this... This guy's cracked it. He's cracked the code to connect the MLM2 Pro to the computer. People have been trying to do this for the whole year since this thing's been out. So if you're gonna use this, support the developer. It's the least we can do, a dollar, two dollars, whatever you have, just support the developer. If you can do a, a reoccurring payment, that's even better. If you could do a dollar a month, I'm sure the developer would really appreciate that. I have no ties or anything with the developer. I've spoken to him a few times on Discord. I don't get money for any of this. This is just me making a video about someone else's work. Okay, so we've navigated over to the homepage. You've got all your information on there. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna actually scroll over. I'm gonna scroll down. It, it tells you how to set this up. So how to use the app, configuration. It tells you everything in this page. So before you start asking questions on how to connect it, read through all the information. Just make sure you've read through all the information by yourself, go slow time. He does give thanks to um, the putting app by Alex, the R10 adapter by M Hollow, which is how the Garmin Direct connects to your computer, and also to Springbok. So that's good that he's giving thanks to all those people. Okay, so scrolling back up to the top, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna click on this releases icon just to the right there. So once you click on that, it'll take you to a page where you've got all your releases. Now, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see that there are three pages of builds. Um, these were made last week. So this came out a week ago and we already have three pages of updates. And in the most recent update, it's still pre-release and it says, don't use this release, crash fixes, uh, you know, code cleanup and a couple of minor features. There are still issues with this. And that's what I wanna stress is don't think that you're gonna go to this and have a seamless experience because you're not. So we'll click on the assets down there at the bottom and I'm gonna click on this MLM2 Pro Bluetooth app. We'll click on that and this was released yesterday. So this is the most recent version of this. While that's downloading, you can also go to the top. You can click on the issues tab there. It's gonna list all your issues. So someone looks like they've opened a ticket. We'll click on that and it's to do with the X part. It says, not sure where I should ask, but will the connector work with X part RG to send putting metrics to GS Pro? Um, yes, it will eventually, um, but yes, yeah, stay tuned for that. 
Okay, so if you have issues with this connector that aren't being answered on that front page, check the Facebook group, um, the Joe Legowski Facebook group. Um, ben is on there as well. He's awesome. He can help out. Okay, so that has downloaded. I'm going to go click on the little downloads icon up the top and I'll open it up. Look at the file. It's got the ball tracking there, so it does have the putting. I'm going to scroll down to where it says application. I'm going to double click on that. And it's going to say this application may depend on other compressed files in the folder. Do you want to extract them? Just go extract all. Uh, and then find where you want to save it. That's fine. And then I can minimize the actual uh, Chrome page while that's extracting. I can exit out of the um, folder that had the compressed stuff in there. And then this is the folder now that has the actual connector. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag that whole folder onto my desktop and I'm gonna put it just there. Okay, now I have the connector downloaded. So I'm gonna go back to the home page on the application. I'm gonna scroll down and I'm gonna look at the configuration tab. On the first load of the application, a settings.json file is created in the same directory as the executable. It will prompt for the web API secret if it is not set. The only setting that is required to communicate with this device is the web API secret. Okay, that sounds pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I did launch GS Pro, so I'm gonna open up GS Pro. I have it set as Unicore. So I'm just gonna clear that and exit out of that. And then I'm gonna get the open API opened up for GS Pro. So I'll go into settings. I'll go reset GS Pro Connect. For people who don't know how to do this, I guess this is gonna show you how to do this if you've got other devices. Okay, I only have the Unicore there. I'm gonna go change license type. Click where it says, what do you wanna to switch to? I'm gonna go open API and I'm gonna go convert license. This takes a few seconds. Okay, cool. License has been converted. Restart GS Pro. We don't actually have to restart GS Pro. All I'm going to do is I'm going to go to GS Pro. I'm going to hit Reset GS Pro Connect. You don't actually have to restart GS Pro. You just have to reset the GS Pro connector. We wait a few seconds. It'll pop up and it'll be the open API. And there we go, Open API. We'll click on that. And now we have the Open API ready to go. I'm just going to minimize GS Pro so you guys can see this. And now I'm going to open up the application that you can see there. And hopefully this will all connect. This is the first time doing it, so we'll see what happens. Uh, so you'll get your pop up, go run anyway. Okay set web API token. You do need this, and this was sent to me by the developer. Okay, so I'm gonna enter in that secret key, and I will leave that in the link in the description as well. We'll go save. Okay, GS Pro is connected. Launch monitor. Right, we need to connect the launch monitor. Right now, it's off, so I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, we are on, and we have a red light at the moment. So again, I don't know if I actually need to go into my computer Bluetooth settings. I'm just going to try and hit connect and see what happens. So let's go connect. Uh, it's going to go Bluetooth manager found, no matches. So let me open up. Okay, so we do need to go to third party authorized. Okay, so, yep, I messed up. So we can't just connect it to the, the computer. We actually do need to open up the application. So let me do that. Open up my uh, Rapsoda app on my iPad. And this is troubleshooting. This is exactly what I go through to, to do all this. So I'm just gonna connect my MLM2 Pro to my iPad, the same as I would if I just wanna use it standalone. I'm using my home Wi-Fi for this. So it's using my home Wi-Fi, connecting my iPad to my MLM2 Pro. That says connection successful. I'm gonna go start a session, and then I'm gonna to go to third-party applications, and I'm gonna select Awesome Golf. So I've selected Awesome Golf there, and I'm gonna go Authenticate Now, and that's just authenticated. Cool, just like it says in the instructions, so.
read the instructions. Uh, what it does say is the pairing is only required the first time and it should not be required if you use the Awesome Golf PC app recently. Well, I haven't, so there you go. Okay, so now that has connected. If I hit connect, it says attempting to connect, setting up, sending auth request. <laughs> it says connected. We are, we're connected. So this is actually connected now. I've got data going into GS Pro. So once you can do that, once you've set it all up, you can actually send a test shot. So I'm gonna hit send test shot and that data has gone through. So I believe right now we are connected directly Rapsodo MLM2 Pro to laptop. That was actually really, really easy. Let's open GS Pro. I'm gonna hit F11 to make it full screen. Let's go to the driving range. I can now close my iPad. I don't need that anymore. And like the developer said, that should only be done the first time. I'm gonna set my MLM2 Pro up. Now I haven't lined that up perfectly. It is what it is. What I will say is using a stand now is probably gonna be a lot more important because you don't have the alignment window. So using a stand, I mean, I have one sent to me by Claire. This is the one I use, uh, not this exact one at the moment. Uh, Claire actually sent me another additional one. So I have two of these, but alignment stands are probably gonna be key now because we don't have that alignment window unless you align the unit in the application and then go into the direct connect. But for me, just use one of these alignment stands. I'll leave a link in the description on where to purchase these. Okay, we're all set up. Let's hit a couple of shots. I'm gonna use my Rapsodo ball dots on my Titleist. First swing of the day, so I'm just gonna hit a chip shot. Bear with me. And we have a blue light, so it's not connected. So these are the bugs that the developer was talking about. So I'm gonna go back into the connector. It does say connected. I think I need to push arm. Okay. There we go. I had to select arm. It's now armed and ready to go. I do have a green light now that I've pushed that arm button. And data's gone through. That is connected. I'm now direct connected with my Rapsodo MLM2 Pro and GS Pro. That is absolutely unreal. How good is that? Now the alignment might not be perfect, but I've got a direct connect. This is fantastic. I never thought this day would come. Everything is working and it's pretty quick to be honest. Let's, uh, let's move up by the green and we'll just hit a few chip shots. All the spin axis appears to be working and it's just, this is actually working. This is fantastic. Let's hit a little chip shot, 22 yards. That works. I mean, this is now a very serious contender, in my opinion. This, and this begs the question, do you need to spend $12,000 on a launch monitor? Now that we have a Direct Connect, I mean, this is absolutely fantastic. All right, guys, that is the Direct Connector. That's how to set it all up and get it working. I mean, to me, there are bugs and it says that it's not going to connect every time that there are issues at the moment. Be prepared for constant updates to this. But that being said, we actually have a direct connect from your Rapsodo to your laptop, to your PC. This is just insane. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, let me know. Any comments or questions, let me know down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.